hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video i'll be showing you how to integrate a sql server apache airflow and the data build tool using the docker compose so whether you're working on data pipelines or automating the analytics workflows so this setup gives you a complete local development environment so we'll store restore a sample uh, adventure works database uh, that triggers the data transformations using the dbt and orchestrating everything with uh, airflow so this video will Will guide you through an uh, entire setup step by step from scratch uh, so even uh, I'll ensure that you're gonna understand each service and how they are communicating within the docker so let's get started all right, so now let's look at the architecture of our project. So this setup is built using the Docker Compose, which containerizes and connects all our services into one uh, single development environment. So at the core, we have five main services, SQL Server, we have DBT, we have Apache Airflow, uh, we have uh, PostgreSQL. So first we have a SQL Server. So this is our source database. Uh, so we can use any sample database. So I'm just uh, going with AdventureWorks dataset uh, to test the project. Uh, so and uh, so even uh, to restore this uh, adventure works data set uh, uh, it is restored using the dot bk file and it is exposed on the port 1433 so alternatively even you can just uh, use your local uh, setup okay so using the sql server management studio if you have a sql server even you can just connect with that so you have two options either you can just go with the sql server container uh, that we have defined inside our docker compose file or you can just connect with your local uh, setup so next is of course the dbt so this tool connects to the sql server uh, and uh, so we're gonna write some of the models uh, to test the project uh, and uh, so all the transformation logic is is done on the adventure works so next we have the apache airflow so this is our orchestrator uh, so which is basically orchestrating our pipeline so it can it consists of two main components so one is the web server that runs on the port 8080 let me just open that so it's uh, running on local port let me just and test it yeah so right now it's running on the uh, on the port 8080 where you can just monitor the task view DAGs, and even manage the executions another component is scheduler that triggers the dbt jobs based on the defined schedule using the DAGs. that is a directed arc uh, like uh, arc like graphs so next we have the uh, postgres sql uh, so this is the airflow's metadata store it keeps track on uh, it ke uh, keeps track of the dag run uh, status uh, task status uh, and the logs so all these services are connected through a custom uh, docker network uh, and i have named that as a dbt airflow network ensuring the seamless communication using the internal service names so each container uh, also uh, mounts some specific volumes uh, so we have the uh, airflow mounts um uh, airflow mounts the dags logs plugins and the dbt project and dbt mounts the entire dbt folder to allow the model execution and the next we have a sql server and postgres that mount their data volumes for the persistence so this is how the data flows uh, the first uh, the data uh, we have the sql server that contains the source so next dbt connects uh, uh, and transforms this particular data and airflow triggers the dbt runs and tracks the orchestration and uh so postgres sql uh, will have uh, will keep will keep track of all the metadata which is related to the airflow uh, runs so yes this is all about the architecture all right so now let me just show you like how we can just do the setup onto your uh, into your machine so i have uh, returned dot md file so this is a new computer setup yes okay so this is the uh dot md file okay so which help you to uh do this setup uh so the first make sure you have the docker desktop installed and is running on your system so you can download it from the official docker uh, website so once installed verify the docker uh, uh just type the docker or you can just type the docker peers just to see there are some running containers or docker a uh, version okay uh that means uh, to just to check the docker is uh, working in your system so next uh, you need to uh, set up the project uh, directory uh, so here uh, so you need to create a few sub few folders uh, so this includes folders for the airflow dag log plugins dbt models and the sql server backups so you can just um, 
uh, create as per this instructions. Okay, just create. Or you can just either create manually. or can just execute these commands like make dietary uh, uh, dbt a flow project. Then just do cd into that. Then create this uh, folders. Uh, that is eight flow. Then we have a flow dags, a flow logs. Then click here plugins. Then models logs, uh, and for the SQL Server backup. So once you're done, so now you can just download this adventure work sample database from the Microsoft official site and just place the dot bk file uh, inside the SQL Server slash backup folder. So after that, just copy all the essential project files into your project directory. So this includes uh, the Docker Compose ML file, then restore db.sh, db.project.ml, and the packages.ml. Uh, then so you can just add all your models inside this dbt slash models and you can just set all your DAGs inside this airflow slash DAGs. So here this is this is not a this is not a mandatory steps in case if you don't want to download it here uh, uh, you can just do the setup in your uh, local uh, machine. Uh, so here uh, even have just tested this this is my database you can see I have just created this adventure works okay so I have this sample database over here. So here, uh, coming back to dbt, so make sure inside the dbt you have this uh, profiles.ml file. So this is my profiles.ml file. Uh, so we have the project name, the target is dev, okay. So type is SQL Server, this is what the driver is. Uh, so so you no need to download any kind of driver, okay. So as soon as you just do docker compose uh, um, uh, up, okay. So uh, whenever you are installing the docker compose for the first time, okay. So automatically it get installed all the drivers and all the uh, necessary packages which is required for our project so the server is host.docker.internal port is 1433 the database is adventure work schema so this is the place uh, where you want to mention to which uh, uh, data source you want to connect it okay so i'm just connecting to my local machine database so the schema is dbo user is uh, imran dbt new and this is the password uh, i'm just uh, turning off the windows login and this is what the other parameters which you need to set so this is a very important file so if you don't have this file then uh, your project will not Run, okay so make sure you have the profiles.ml file added inside your uh, dbt and if you want to uh, apart from that so you have all the models so inside the models you can just write all the sample models so right now we have all the sample models added inside the staging like stage customers some stage example stage products uh, stage sales orders and all those things Coming back to Airflow, so inside the Airflow, we have the DAGs, we have the logs, right? We have the plugins. So the important folder is the DAGs, okay? So in case if you want to trigger your uh, DBT models from the Airflow, so you can just set up that everything inside the uh, DBT DAG. So right now, this, this is how it is tested. So we're gonna run the DBT DAG, uh, we're gonna run this particular DAG, uh, so which will automatically uh, run all the models which is present inside my DBT, okay? So this is uh, about uh, Airflow. So here, uh, so once this is done, so next you need to set few permissions, okay? So you need to execute these commands. Uh, so before uh, running the project, so this is for the first time, okay? So in case if you want to run this setup into your machine, so you need to make sure uh, you just follow all the steps and uh, even set all these file permissions, uh, which is mentioned. So next you can just get into the specific containers, okay? This is what the Docker Compose build, as soon as you tell Docker Compose build, so all the, uh, uh, the packages and the necessary drivers which is required for a project will be installed. So once it's done, so you can do Docker Compose up. Already have done all those steps here, okay? Uh, just to save time. Uh, so I have just the Docker Compose up. Okay, so everything is working fine. So once you Docker do Docker Compose up, so all the containers will be running just to show you. Let me just test that out here. So I'm in the different folder. Okay, so here, yeah. So if I just type here Docker, peers this all the running containers have so in case if you want to uh, yeah so once this is done so now you can just get into some specific containers uh, so you need to do a basic setup okay for example like uh, to set up the dbt so you need to execute these commands docker compose execute dbt and dbt depths which install all the dependencies so you can just verify the connection using the dbt debug so next uh, to set up the airflow so you need to just initialize the uh, uh, airflow uh, air database that is db init so then you can uh, even create a new admin user uh, so if you want to log in into your 8080 port, uh, you need to create a user. So this is what the user we are creating. Admin, admin, everything is admin. Password is also admin. So then test this. Okay, right now I have executed all these above steps. And uh, so if I do Docker PS, all the containers are running. And even I can just test my UI also. If I just go here, you can see everything is working fine. Uh, so let me just go back. Yeah. So now uh, you can just get into some specific containers also. Uh, so you need to just type here Docker. Uh, so just get into the specific containers. Uh, Docker, so Docker Compose, uh, 
uh, execute dbt bash okay it will just get into the container and right now i'm inside the dbt container if i just do here ls you can see the same thing okay whatever you see all these files and folders it's the same thing and if you just do here dbt debug so all the connection will be tested so based on the profiles which i've just mentioned okay that's very important so the connection was successful so from here also you can just trigger the dbt run so it will run all the projects uh, all the models which is present inside our dbt mm -hmm. Fine. So next, uh, now let's try to uh, trigger uh, the DAG. Okay. So from the UI, let's see. Let me just go here and let me just go and trigger this. So this trigger basically, uh, um, uh, this is how it works. Okay. So once as soon as I trigger this, okay, it will just run all the models which is present inside my DBT. So let me just get into that. Yeah, so you can see it was successful. Uh, DBT run is successful and DBT test is uh, done. Uh, it's running. Okay, it will be executed. So if I just go my go go back to my SQL Server management and inside the views, uh, you can see all this uh, the models which I've just created here. Okay, so I have few models here which I've just added. So if I just go to SQL Server, oh uh, not SQL Server, where is that DBT? Yeah, inside the DBT we have the models. I have four models here. Uh, stage customer, stage example, stage product, say stage sales order. Uh, let me just check. So you can see so we have stage customer, stage example, stage product, and say uh, stage sales order has been uh, executed. Okay, even you can just delete it because even I did DBT run. So even if you do DBT run, so all the models will be get created. But instead of uh, running that manually, if you want to trigger that, if you want to orchestrate through the Airflow, you can just uh, mention that in the DAG and that will be run uh, on uh, on the schedule like how we have set uh, here. Okay, so you can see. So DBT run uh, was successful. And so, yes, yeah, so this is what the entire setup is. Okay, let me just get into this uh, Docker Compose file. Okay, just to show you how it looks. This is uh, our Docker Compose YAML file. So here, uh, whatever I've just mentioned is the same thing. Okay, so we have just defined all the services like SQL Server uh, with all the necessary configurations, Postgres, we have the Airflow uh, web server. Uh, we have Airflow scheduler and we have the DBT. Okay, so this is how uh, the Docker Compose YAML file looks. Thank you for watching and don't forget to explore uh, more advanced topics which I'll be uploading soon. I'll be starting a new uh, playlist, a DBT uh, developer. And uh, so I hope you have enjoyed it. And uh, so this will be very uh, helpful okay, whenever you are testing out uh, some projects. So happy learning and keep building. See you soon in the next video.